Hey everyone, uh, this is uh, intended for bikers out there who uh, went out and bought themselves a Profile Design Universal Computer Mount. Uh, they mount it to their aero bars and they go out and the first thing they notice uh, is no matter how tight they tighten that barrel down that the uh, when you reach up and you push the start button on your computer it kind of cants it off. Or when you're riding along, you know, the weight of it causes it to sag. So I'm going to show you how to use two of these uh, UCMs to uh, form a bridge to hold both your light and your uh, computer so they won't sag. All right, are you tired of your universal computer mount sagging during the course of the ride every time you go over a bump? Here's how you fix it. This is the one that I had, and every time I had my computer mounted, it would tend to sag down during the course of the ride. So you get a second one and you install it reverse these are 60 millimeter UCMs then using a line what I did was I took a saw and basically cut off one end okay there's still enough room here to uh, put a little insert that'll bridge the gap now that it's the first one's cut I'm going to size this, put a little piece of tape right here so that it's the same distance over. And then I'll pick up, once I've cut this one, I'll pick up and show you how to bridge the gap. Okay, now you can see what I did is I put a piece of tape here so that it's lined up with the edge of that one. And now I'm going to go cut it. Alright, I'm going to use a sander to... Uh, get rid of the rough edges around here you see there's some uh, rough edges from where the saw sort of melted it a little bit okay so now you can see it's nice and clean so, so what I'm going to do to span the gap between the two is take a piece of uh, electrical uh, conduit okay I'm going to use some half inch s40 rigid PVC wire conduit the diameter of this is just a little bit too thick. So I'm going to use my, my orbital sander, and I don't know if you can see it, but I basically just roughed down or sanded down you know, the first inch or two. Okay, so now you can see that the conduit has been sanded down and it fits into the opening on the computer mount. Now looking from above, when it's inserted, you'll see that it will insert into the other mount about a quarter inch. Now you can see that I've gotten them just about aligned. Now what I'm going to do is basically push down and they'll probably bow these out a little bit, but push this down until it pops into place. And now that I've pressed it down and got it seated, you can see it's nice and firm. I'm going to tape it, mount my light, and then mount my bracket, or my computer bracket. Okay, you can see I got the tape in place to seal the joint. Then I'm going to mount my uh, light bracket. It hangs on the underside. Then I'm going to install my computer mount. You can see it's all in line with the, uh, the wheel there. Then I install my light. And finally I'll add my computer to the assembly. Now let's prevent the whole assembly from drooping forward as we go over the bumps. In this picture you can see that I slid the whole assembly back so that the light which is on the underside is resting against the stem. Now, As you're riding the computer will try and rotate the whole assembly downward but on the bottom side you have the light pressing up against the stem acting like a supporting brace so it tends to keep it in place. Alright, I hope this video helped. Uh, hopefully uh, you won't have a problem with the sagging computer anymore. Uh, just remember when you're out and you're out biking uh, be, be safe, wear your reflective gear, make sure you're well lit and um, you know, when you're driving, just remember that texting and driving kills. Uh, you run over somebody, you can never take it back. Godspeed.